chair of the day of the Seafarers Committee, um, permanent secretary, Commissioner Fiji Correction Service, uh, president of the Institute of uh, Maritime Officers Guild, chair of MSAF, uh, commander of the Fiji Navy, CEO of Fiji Ports Corporation, and CEO of Fiji Maritime Academy, uh, key maritime stakeholders, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavanaka, and a very, very good afternoon to all of you. Today, we have a lot to be thankful for. We have the joy of being able to gather uh, with our families and friends, and we have the freedom to move around. And we'll, we've put ourselves and the Fijian economy on the path to recovery. None of this, ladies and gentlemen, has actually happened overnight. While we've seen the leaders and the health experts at the forefront over the last two years, we actually cannot forget those that have played a fundamental role in getting us to where we are. And ladies and gentlemen, as we commemorate the annual day of the sea for, seafarers with the theme as your voyage then and now and share your journey, we pay tribute to the men and women who've kept us going in our most difficult times. As you all know, ladies and gentlemen, our seafarers sail the seas every day, helping the Fijian economy. Yet they go unnoticed. They facilitate global trade and keep our islands and Fijians connected. You transport goods, including life-saving medical equipment and supplies. You are part of an experience, a product in the Fijian tourism industry. So without this noble profession, there would be no maritime shipping. Ladies and gentlemen, we, as in, uh, we in the Pacific, we're actually over 7,500 islands and 22 island nations, spanning some 30 million square kilometers across the Pacific Ocean. Fiji's EEZ spans about 1.3 million square kilometers across the Pacific Ocean. And this makes us the natural hub of the Pacific. So you can see how maritime shipping is crucial and how crucial the role of seafarers is. The history of early long distance sailing among the Pacific people is unparalleled. The first people to traverse the open sea for extensive journeys were our ancient ancestors. Single dugout canoes some of which had outriggers, like the Fijian Takia and the Drua, which were used for major migration voyages. A classic example are the five indigenous Fijians hired as what they were called then, topas in Calcutta. They were traveling to Fiji on the Leonidas in 1879. They came from Galo and Kandavu, where they were known as Bill, Sony, Tom, George, and Johnny back then. Back then, they were referred to as the Leonidas Fijians, and the academia claimed that they traveled to Sydney after being picked up by a mail steamer in Galoa in Kandavu. They left Sydney for America and then traveled on to India before sailing back to Fiji on the Leonidas on May the 14th, 1879. Ladies and gentlemen, the voyage of every seafarer is different. Our journeys are different. The pandemic still creates a tough working environment for seafarers. There's code change, there's access to medical treatment and shore leave, and that's why our efforts to support them should be a priority. Ladies and gentlemen, here at home, the Fijian government, in collaboration with the International Maritime Organization and key, mar uh, uh, key maritime stakeholders, continues to support 
seafarers by recognizing them as vital personnel. Why? Because to a certain extent, they are actually ambassadors of our oceans, which is our greatest asset. Just last week, ladies and gentlemen, we came to an inclusive agreement, a final conclusion, an inclusive agreement at the World Trade Organization to curb harmful practices that allow some of the world's biggest subsidizers to dilute the disciplines into irrelevance. Meaning they take as much from our shores illegally. We came to this balanced agreement after, after about 20 years just to protect our fish stock. And that's how important our maritime industry is. So as we consider the future of this annual day, we pay co close attention to our new challenges and opportunities in, broader, in the broader context of our climate goals. U.S. seafarers will no doubt meet these issues head on and open the door for bluer sector. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I personally take great pride in this noble profession of seafarers and mariners. They say the voyage marks the beginning of a lifetime spent at sea. So today, we give all seafarers the respect and acknowledgement that they deserve. We recognize the unique characteristics shared by seafarers that result from the perils of the sea, living and working in an enclosed and inescapable ship space, and being apart from families. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you, to thank each and every one of you for your contribution and for your support. Without your partnerships, we wouldn't be here today. So today is your day, and I encourage every single Fijian to join me in expressing extreme gratitude to our seafarers. And with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish our seafarers a happy Seafarers Day. Thank you very much.